All right, folks, uh, I've been doing my research. Um, PSBYT had a video up today. And he overlooked some stuff, but in what's new, he's Mr. Hype. And doesn't really get into the meat of the matter. Sometimes, uh, Xiaomi Mi A3, the update to the Mi A2. Okay, first off, they made the screen, oh, that much bigger. They went from 5.99 inches to 6.088. Whoa, I mean, you're not going to notice this. But they were determined to fumble somewhere along the way. And Xiaomi seems to do this. And they really, really... Made this one a disappointment. Um, they put an AMOLED display on it. Good deal. And then they lowered the resolution down to 720p. Full HD Plus. The Mi A2 had IPS. Nice display. And I'm okay with IPS. And you should be too. Don't fall for the hype. Ah, uh, so, guess what, yeah, they screwed up there, huge mistake going down to 720p, there's nothing wrong with 720p, you just went to Emily, and then you totally F it up, by lowering the display, why? Number two, it's got a teardrop frickin' notch. There's absolutely no reason we couldn't have a bezel at the top. The Mi A2 had one. And get it out of your head. Quit listening to all the reviewers who are telling you, oh, bezels are bad. Why? I mean, you gotta ask yourself the real why here. The why is... It's a selling point, and that's what they're selling you. It's horseshit. It's a bunch of crap. The, the Mi A2 had a bezel, and it looked just fine. And, oh, it'll make the phone too much bigger. Folks, they went from 5.99 to 6.088. I'm sure if you laid two of them down side by side, You'd be hard put to tell which one was which. Not wrong with that bezel. The teardrop notch. Folks, at show me. Wake the F up. Remove your heads from your ass. Start breathing. Only Apple does notches anymore. Pop up cameras and all that crap are fine. But uh, that's sheer stupidity also. There's just absolutely no reason not to stick a bezel up there. You can put all your sensors up there. You can put a decent speaker so you have stereo speakers. Get over. It's so immersive. All bullshit. If you're staring at your bezels instead of your screen... Your attention span is very minimal. And you need to go see a doctor. And just get slapped for being stupid. Concentrate on what's in front of you. Now what's over here? Now what's over there? How does this affect you? It doesn't. Don't be stupid. So, that's two things they dropped the ball on. Notch. Tear, I, it's, a, a tear, it's only something hanging down in the display. And you're worried about a freaking bezel, yet you don't mind having a, you know, a notch over here while you're watching a video. Do you really have any brains if you believe that this is better? No. You don't. So, uh, 
when I come back after the intro, we're going to talk about the CC9, me, and this one. And there, there are advantages here. You can expand the storage on this one. We'll get to all that. That's why I do the research and you get the benefits. Back later. All right, folks, I've made it back. Now, the first video I'm going to you know, link you to is this guy who does one on the CC9, the Xiaomi Mi CC9. He kind of thinks it's going to be what the Mi A3 is, and he's totally off base there. Processor won't be the same. The Mi A9 or Mi A3 stock is going to come with an inferior display, and uh, you're not going to get 6 gig of RAM and 128 gig of storage. Uh, you are going to get a phone that has micro SD expansion. Well, let's you know, listen to a few seconds of his video here and see. Uh, what we hmm, could swear I let's move up. He really likes his phone, all the prettiness and blah blah blah. Let's ignore all that and let's get right to the cameras. Cause he keeps talking about a seven ten display and uh or a Snapdragon seven ten. Well we'll finish this up. It was a pretty good phone and you can get the same experience for almost half the cost which is pretty nice. But well, let's get straight to the cameras. I think that's the part where everybody's waiting for. But the cameras are very versatile, just like the Xiaomi Mi 9. So I just stopped filming for a few hours just to check out the cameras on this thing. And oh my God, check this out. 48 megapixel mode, one, two, three. No more processing. Let me just do that again. Boom, that's right. That is an instant 48 megapixel shot right there. No more waiting, oh my God. Now this is probably the fastest 48 megapixel camera I have ever reviewed. And yes, it has a 48 megapixel mode because by default, it's just using a 12 megapixel interpolated camera. Here are the shots that I took earlier. See that? See that? That's a 48 megapixel image. That looks amazing. It's totally unlike the 48 megapixel phones that I've reviewed earlier this year. Just... Okay, as you can see, he's quite impressed with it. But he's totally wrong about the... Uh fact that this will be anything like the Mi A3. Now, let's go to our second one here. This is the CC9E, which this guy's going to unbox and do his thing on. I'm probably not going to play any of it. Basically, what you get with the CC9E, um, the Mi A3 can handle 18 watt fast charging, but in the box, you're going to get the same thing. The CC9E will be basically what the Mi A3 is going to be. It's going to have the god awful notch, the teardrop notch, doesn't belong. Uh, put a freaking bezel on it, folks. They need to get their heads out of their butts, and uh, we'll go that route. Uh, but you're going to get a 10 watt charger with it. It's almost like an Apple move. Who knows? Uh, but I can live with the 10 watt charger. I don't care. It's got a 4,000 plus milliamp battery, milliamp hour. But the display is AMOLED. Correct? We know that. We know that's what it's going to be. A Samsung AMOLED panel, nice and sharp and bright. But no, no, they lower 
lowered the display down to 720p. Why would you do that? No enough. Kind of like putting a teardrop notch in. It's not an apple. Put a freaking bezel on it. Put all your cameras and sensors. Put some infrared sensors up there so your face unlock will work in the dark. Whoa! Wouldn't that be cool? And add stereo speakers. My Axon M that I shot the intro on. 2017. Is stereo speakers go figure so here we have an actual unboxing uh, from this uh, Chinese woman that uh, wherever maybe Japanese I'm not sure don't sue me I'm not a racist I just don't know uh, the point is uh, She's going to totally gloss over the points on this of the fact it is only 720p. She is going to mention the 10 watt charger. Well, let's watch a few minutes and see what we get. The audio ain't going to be that great, obviously, because we're pulling it off the speaker. And hopefully the mic's going to pick it up. Inside the box. Inside you will be greeted with a box and first thing you will see is a SIM ejector tool then there's user guide manual which nobody reads and a black jelly case for extra protection and there is the Xiaomi Mi A3 which I will talk about it later power break so let's see how many watts. It's a 10 watt power brick. And of course, there is the USB type C cable. So, as you. So, that's her basic unboxing. If you want to watch the whole thing, it'll be linked in the description below. Everything on here will. Uh, and obviously, uh, What's his name? ASBYT did one. He didn't mention the 720 display at all. Too bad. Uh, <coughs> but as usual, please read the description below. Here comes the big arrow. And make sure to read it all. You'll get all the links. You'll also get a link back to the Axon M that we shot the intro on. Maybe you want a really good phone that's foldable. Woo! With a 20 megapixel. Front, rear, doesn't matter. It shoots in both directions because it doesn't care. It's only on one side of the phone, but it's a foldable phone. It's just Trust me, great phone, just not so hot for accidental touches. Uh, and uh, obviously, there'll be a link to the Mi A2, which you can still get over at Amazon for like 170 bucks or something, which is an excellent price, and you'll get a 1080 display. Yeah. It won't be analog. It'll only be a Snapdragon 660 instead of a 665. I've actually heard people say the benchmarks are lower on the 665 if you do it in two two benchmarks and you're into gaming. The 660 will play almost any game you want it to, and it's a pretty decent processor. The pick. You know, the cameras are fantastic on the Mi A3. Not as good on the Mi A2, but... Are you willing to spend some extra money to get the Mi A3 at a lower resolution just because it has AMOLED and, and tolerate the uh, 
absolute stupidity of having a teardrop notch. If you are, go for it. Personally, from what I've seen so far, the only advantage is to the Mi A3 is going to be the expandable storage with micro SD. You can, you know, slap 128 or uh, 256 as micro SD card in there, and you're good on storage forever, or you should be. But you're also stuck with a 720p display and a stupid freaking notch. It's not an Apple, folks. Quit copying Apple. Lose the, oh, it's got to be bezel-less attitude. And uh, all that being said, if you found this helpful, entertaining, or informative, make sure you look at the little reminder there, subscribe, click the bell, give us a thumbs up, and share this with everyone you know, even your grandmother. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, until the next one, I'm out of here.